I have not publicly spoken about any of this, so in this q and I'm literally like speaking about a lot of things. Hello guys, and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing an updated Q&A, which I have not done in literally, uh, I think it was like almost three years. Some Chick-fil-A, it literally took like, I kid you guys not, literally like two hours just to get it delivered. I asked you guys to ask me questions on Instagram. I have screenshots of the questions because you guys went in, but before I actually get started into this video, if you guys don't know, LLGR is a clothing brand that I pretty much started in honor of Gabriel to keep his legacy alive because everyone who knew Gabriel knows he loves aliens. He has an obsession with aliens. So today, the when you're watching this video, Friday, 9-22-23, we have officially dropped our second launch which is gonna be these shirt and then also long sleeve shirts and they're both white we have sizes small through 3XL. So if you guys want to support all the money that we make, we are going to be putting that towards Gabriel's headstone. So if you guys want to buy a shirt and support, click the link down below. I'll be very, very, very appreciative. You know, even if you just share it and go and follow us on Instagram, I'm very appreciative. Yeah, I got uh, what I always get, some little nuggies and then deluxe with some mac and cheese. If you're not eating mac and cheese, then what are you doing? And then I got a soda too, because I was like, you know what, I deserve it. After after the long busy day I've had, honestly this week has just been so busy for me, you guys. That's why I feel like I really haven't been posting on here a lot, but I want to get into that on why. So I have a lot of the questions literally screenshotted, so let's just jump on into it. Dang, well this one's coming on strong, so Will you date again? Um, I feel like a lot of people ask me this. Honestly, I don't know. I can't say yes or no because I don't know what the future holds for me. But I can say the place that I am in now, I'm okay with not dating because one, I'm not healed, and two, I really did experience like such a fairy tale relationship already. Like my name Gable's relationship really inspired a lot of people because I know there's a lot of gays that get so many messages from like young gays that are like, wow, like I want to find love, like you guys have love, you guys gave me hope that there are people who like that are you know really into monogamy and all that because you know a lot of people in the LGBT are like very open very poly very like you know teach their own but you know I was just never like that like what's mine is mine so I'm actually okay with never like you know dating again because I already experienced that for five and a half years and it was like such a beautiful time through the ups through the downs like I'm just so thankful that I experienced that because I never had a relationship that was literally my first ever relationship you know does your family tell you anything about doing OnlyFans uh no they actually don't when I started doing OF I literally told my mom like right away and my family they all know I mean they all follow me on like Instagram snapchat and I clearly promote myself so they know I know I haven't really been like doing it, promoting myself or doing it I was like how do it with Gabriel let me find that question since we're on that topic because I did screenshot one why you fucking other men have you forgot about Gabriel no hate so I feel like a lot of people have that misconception I know it's like a lot of new viewers that didn't follow me like when Gabriel was alive and they're like oh you moved on you moved on because you're filming content with other men yada and I'm like um a lawyer that is dealing with grief has to go back to work just because they're you know like it's work I feel like a lot of people are very close-minded and they don't understand this industry it's work there's no emotional feeling there's no just because I'm doing that doesn't mean I'm moving on like how is that you know those two type of things i get that a lot of people can have that misconception but they're not in my shoes at the end of the day i'm not here trying to prove to anyone because as long as i know what i'm doing and um, in my head what is right from wrong i can care less what anyone has to say just because i went back to work because the bills are due doesn't mean i moved on i don't know why people assume it's just like a normal adult star that goes to work and comes home you have no relationship no feelings no nothing with the person you're working with you know i'm gonna just answer those questions since we're on the topic of only fans because that was a lot why you only film with white, white men on your of wasn't your ex latino don't show me name clearly if you have my of you know like you know I, i've been filming or what i've been filming with but i feel like just latino men in general they remind me so much of gabriel and I get sad and I don't know I feel like he'll always have like that piece of me like he's always gonna have that piece and that side of my heart you know so I just am not like I don't even find Latino men attractive anymore because it's just like 
kind of like a trauma blocked in my head where it's like no if it's not this person which is Gabriel then he's not it like I don't want it no disrespect how did you feel after you started doing OF videos again honestly I definitely want to stop I feel like it's just not the same I mean uh, I started doing that type of content maybe two years after I was dating Gabriel and stuff and it was different because clearly like you know we would film and post on there together and then do collabs as well so I feel like now it's just like uh, it's not the same I think a lot has to do with it just because a lot of the backlash I get and stuff and I don't I have not publicly spoken about any of this so in this q and I'm literally like speaking about a lot of things Why do you pose with your legs bending all the time? I feel like a lot of people come for the way I stand and pose But it's like I'm trying to make my butt look big. It is what it is Like I don't I've always posed kind of like weird. Do you still talk to your boyfriend's family? Oh, uh, yes, I do. This is very pers Literally all these questions are about like SEX and OnlyFans But I guess a lot of people want to know because I never talk about it, but this is very personal It's okay if you don't answer it. How was it? from you engaging in your courses again after Gabriel. Honestly, if I'm being 100 with you guys, the very first time, I literally cried. Like, I literally, when we we're done, I sat there and I freaking cried and cried and cried. And like, I was just picturing Gabriel on the corner just watching me. But like, it's not like in a, oh, why did you do that? It's in like a way where he's like, kind of like pushing me like, you need to like, come on, you have to like, you have to start like you know like progressing and stuff how are you doing with grief um i feel like i've grown so much from dealing with grief like so much like clearly i have my moments where i break down and cry i feel like i just grown as i stop really posting about it because a lot of people just bully me and like i get so much backlash now and it sucks because when gabriel was alive i would never experience hate ever and now all i get is hate and stuff but all i could just tell myself is like the things he'll tell me like i hear him in my head like don't listen to them like they're on a the phone if they ever see you in real life they'll never say this to you and i know a lot of people are like oh you're using him for clout you're like posting about this move on it's time to move on like clearly you've never grieved anybody because you just don't move on and wake up one day and i'm if i'm not posting about him who's gonna post about him who's gonna keep his memory and his legacy alive exactly so that's why i post even though i'm just like bro i know i'm gonna get a lot of backlash i know i'm gonna get hate i know people are gonna be like move on like move on from what would you ever move back to california i don't know i know like, there was a point in time where i was always out there and i was thinking about moving back but right now no i want to be close to like my family and stuff that's out here in colorado and clearly close to gabriel because he's buried in colorado and stuff so maybe i'm late and you already answered but what happened to your food truck so the food truck is still up and running um it's actually gabriel's parents food truck so that's how we would always go help them out promote it and all that but they still are um up and running on certain days and stuff if you follow their facebook page which is tacos at vera they like will post when they're open and stuff i dated but never been in love when did you know you were in love with g love you honestly i feel like it just it was just it just happened like i wasn't looking for love and i met him and it literally just happened i feel like that's the best kinds when you're not looking and it finds you that's why when i say like that man was my soulmate that man was literally my soulmate like we did everything together and what was so cool is i was his first everything too like first holding hands in public first guy to like meet his mom and his parents and family so it was kind of like cool in a way how we got to experience all that together you know so crazy like i can't even look back on those a lot of like my videos and stuff like i can't hear his voice like i feel like i'm like kind of grieving backwards what's one thing you want to experience or place you would like to travel to honestly i want to travel the world like especially around holidays that's why this holiday season that's coming up i'm just like i kind of want to travel somewhere like i don't want grief is weird and i talk about grief a lot because like that's just what's part of me now so for the holidays i kind of want to just not celebrate and like just be somewhere where they don't even celebrate holidays you know it's weird but i want to tell you how proud i am of you and how much i adore you keep doing you thank you love i appreciate that where do you see yourself in the next five years honestly i don't know i feel like now i know like i've always said like social media is my passion it's my dream it's my you know but now i feel like it's not like fun anymore for me it's not like since i would always do it with gabriel he was with me every day and like in the majority of my videos i feel like now when i do it it's just me and it's not fun i get sad and i kind of just don't have a passion for it anymore it's so weird and crazy that i'm even saying this because oh, there's times where i'm like oh my gosh i want to film but i'm like no like because then when i do film and stuff i get really sad and i'm just i like tend to, i don't know if you guys notice but i'll like tend to look over and like that person I was always filming with isn't here, so I don't know. I kind of am slowly, like if you have me on Instagram and stuff, like I'm always posting on my stories there, but 
I'm like slowly starting to stop and I'm like slowly trying to heal myself and do what you know is healthy for me how often do you go visit gabriel wishing you so much love and peace chris i used to go like every day and i'm kind of stopping it's kind of been like a while now a few weeks since i've went because it's i'm telling you i'm like grieving backwards it's really hard going and having to leave like leaving is like so shattering and you know and i know deep down that all i have to do is just think about him and he's here you know like i don't need to be there every day or need to go you know like that's just his body his spirit is wherever i am whenever i need to think of him you know when will you get his headstone so his head i get this question a lot too so his headstone has been ordered um hence why i dropped this merch i've had this merch literally for so long already and it's been made and like i just have not had no motivation and i was like you know what, let me hurry up and get these out because I want to use all the money towards his headstone. If you guys really want to support, click the link down below, get you guys some shirt. Um, I honestly love these shirts, like, I'm always wearing them, literally always, and we do have them in long sleeves, so yeah, click the link down below. What are you most proud of about yourself? Honestly, having the motivation that I have, like, I was speaking to Gabriel's cousin, Ari Lene, the other day, and she was saying, like, it's only because it's about to be a year in November, you guys. Time flew by, flew by, and I was telling her how, like, I feel very, like, left, like, I feel like I'm set back so much, and she was like, no, like, it's not even been, it's about to be a year, and you've grown and come so far. Like, there's people that it takes them years to get where you are and how you are with your stability and your mental, uh, mental health and, like, growing and all that so that's what i'm very proud of because i tell myself that whenever i feel like oh i'm set back or oh i'm i'm like you know what like you're grieving and this is something so traumatic and life-changing and you're doing your best so that's what i'm proud of is getting up every day and doing my best just wanted to say i'm proud of you during this growth period in your lifetime what is one thing that you have learned love you love you too re yeah you like when i first started like getting into social media and stuff well not like started but like when i started like blowing up and stuff you literally were my neighbor so and you guys were like literally the sweetest people there and that was our second apartment that me and Gabe had got <laughs> and that apartment oh my gosh there's so many memories there Sometimes I even think like I should go move back there just to you know, but I know I would be sad if I did that because it would just remind me of all that One thing I learned is to not care like before I used to be like so oh my gosh Like I cared about a lot of people's opinions now. I really don't care like I just kind of am like a cloud Like a dark cloud is over my head and I'm just blue all the time and I just don't care I'm just like mm, okay, whatever like there's more important things to life and stuff now So I just don't so that's a really big one, you know, that I just don't care anymore. Okay, the number one question I got was when will you talk about what happened? So I kind of have talked about it. Like, if you have me on, like, if you've seen some of my videos, I've talked about and said little nits and bits here. But when I'm ready, I know a lot of people are like, well, we're obligated to know because we need closure too. But it's like, at the end of the day, you guys are viewers and you see what I want you to see. From a 10 minute clip, you guys may think you know everything but you don't so when i'm ready to discuss and talk about that and go into detail because clearly i was there i was the person that was with him last when he took his last breath that's like so traumatic and traumatizing who would just be able to sit down and just talk about it you know i know that's like a big part of my healing though and when i do speak about it just know like um heal that's like when i'm peak healing so i'm gonna end that on that note i hope you guys enjoyed this updated q a remember to click the link down below and get your shirts i can't wait to see you guys rocking them like look at the smile i just get so happy because it's like i love staying busy and this is like you know i'm the one packing the orders i'm the one shipping them out i'm the one doing everything so it keeps me busy and i like that a lot because i need to stay busy because a busy mind is you know keeps it going so that being said until my next video which who knows when y'all because i'm literally just who knows when but thanks for watching